Hey there, aficionados. Tim with RockBeachAquatics.com. So today we're actually going to do an unboxing video. I just got back from the airport. Uh, this is a farm order, so which means uh, there's a higher volume of fish. Like this is where I get my neon tetras, etc. Uh, we have like 400 neon tetras. I have like 300 cherry barbs and a bunch of stuff. I do think I have some rams actually from uh, a location down there that I use, uh, a breeder. They go over and meet them and then they ship everything together. So that's kind of how we're doing this order. But because um, the volume on the rams is not as high, I think I might have like 40 rams of three different types, something along that line. So, um, but yeah, we're down in the lab and what we do basically is like, we'll split up the uh, neons between like several tanks. Obviously we're not gonna put 400 neons down into, you know, one 15 gallon tank. So, um, and as you can see behind me, um, all the tanks are ready to go. I can't wait to get this room um, uh, emptied out and uh, finished because we're gonna be putting a bunch of tanks there. And on the opposite wall, uh, that was where my personal fish room was. That's gonna be coming out and we're gonna be putting a, um, uh, we're basically going to be doubling the size of the lab so we'll have a lot more tanks because right now we're filling them up fairly quickly and some items I do keep uh, you know for a, a couple weeks uh, like discus I'll be keeping you know we usually keep like four or five weeks before I even bring them up so anyways all right we're going to uh, start the unboxing and we'll uh, see what we have. I don't know what's in each box yet some of them I just opened the tops just so we can uh, carry them a little easier so um goes out of the way so I don't know what's on here usually um, I kind of just let a little uh, light get into them well let's see what we got here so this is quite a few um, these are neon rosy barbs oh they smell ripe all right so what you're seeing in the green color is a sedative that they put in the water uh, from the farm so it relaxes them a little bit but um, we're going to uh, net these out and we're gonna be popping them into a tank All right, so I just popped those. So that's the neon rosy barbs, and those are in a couple different tanks. So, you know, we'll kind of just let them chill, do their thing. And let's get to the next box. All right, I just pulled out the neons. So that's what 400 neon tetras looks like. So we got a couple dead ones. Um, you know, it's expected to get a bunch of dead ones out of here, to be honest with you. I know that sounds kind of stinky, but I think it just, they got stuck in the, um, the fold of the plastic and because I just found a couple that were up there. So again, sedative. All right, so now I'm going to separate these guys. I don't know which tanks I had. Oh, right over here. These are small. These are smaller than normal. But that is fine. Now we're splitting them up. So in case there is an issue, it doesn't just affect one or the other. Okay. So let's see what we have here. These are peacock gudgeons and gold rams. So we did get a whole bunch of peacock gudgeons. And there are the peacock gudgeons. All right, here are the gold rams. So looking good. But notice like literally no deaths in here. So the only ones we really had any deaths were the neons. And to be honest with you, um, it was because I think they were, someone must have tipped the box a little bit. So in shipping, and then they kind of got crinkled up in the top. So that's pretty amazing. All right, and here's our next box of stuff. These are the albino Oscars. Okay, let's check out the next box. Don't know what's in here. 
our good friends, the Zebra Danios. Again, nothing dead. Pretty awesome. This is the Oscars. There's 40 albino Oscars in here. I wanted assorted. These are big. I got all albino. Apparently I'm going to have a sale on Oscars because I have all albino. Those are pretty nice. All right, let's see what is in this box. Some platies and looks like some rams. And I don't know what we have in here. So, these are electric blue Acaras. Brought them some bigger ones. I'm out of locally bred ones right now, but this is my same original supplier. Electric blue rams. Okay, here are some platies. Medicated. These suck. These are awful. All right, so here are some German blue rams. Looking good. Chili. This is a weird time for shipping right now because if stuff comes out of Florida, it's really, really warm, and it's still very cold up here. So they have to use heat packs in order to keep things cold or cooler while they're waiting down in Florida. There's the electric blue Acaras. Now that we put everything away, we're running out of battery, so I wasn't able to get a few of the others. But we're actually, another step that we do here at RVA, obviously part of the quarantine process, is uh, medicating our fish. I do preventative meds. Um, you know, these fish obviously traveled a certain amount of uh, distance and a certain amount of time in a bag, etc. So they're a little stressed. So I just do preventative blanket medicine uh, on a bunch of different things. We use ICAX, uh, General Cure. Um, which is here, and you know, myosin, uh, so those are the three meds that we do hit with everything. So uh, this is five mils, let me make sure my math, if, yeah, this is the uh, regular one I'm using, so five mils for 10 gallons, these are 15 gallons, so I don't do a full dose, it's just shy, but it's usually enough. These guys are beautiful, by the way. So we've had two dead so far out of all those. These guys are really bad. I have to be honest with you. Uh, whomever pulled these fish uh, should have a conversation uh, with someone who knows how to pull fish because those are awful. They were actually the worst fish I've ever seen that have ever been shipped to me. So pretty disappointed in that. That's just the platies. So that, what that means is that I'm going to have to keep those down here for a ridiculous amount of time uh, taking care of them, and that really stinks. Now we're going to hit with General Cure. Now this one is just shy of one, uh, one full scoops, 20 gallons. So I just kind of guesstimate it. I'm somewhat of a guesstimator when it comes to meds. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound great, but 
It's just something that I've done for a very long time. So I know what goes into what. And basically what we're doing is we're just trying to kill anything that may have came along for the ride. Rams, uh, I wasn't able to get the larger size. They usually have a little bit bigger size. Uh, they weren't uh, ready yet, so I wanted to get them anyways. So that's what I did. Well, that's it. Quick little unboxing. Uh, again, it's very, very difficult to do, <laughs> especially um, when you have a bunch to do. So we left out probably uh, six or seven different things. So um, yeah, super cool. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to leave these fish down here for as long as they need it. Um, definitely at least a week I kind of go through make sure things are good to go you know most of these were really really good again the platies were not they were really really bad so that means uh, extra amount of time probably three to four weeks before I could even bring those up so it's kind of disappointing but um, anyways um, okay so make sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, hit the notifications button give us a click on Instagram as well as a like on Facebook. So, and as always, 24-7, rockbeachaquatics.com. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.